The China and ASEAN must continue to work closely to broaden and deepen their three-decade-long cooperation. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says the relationship has grown from strength to strength since formal dialogue relations began 30 years ago. He was speaking at the opening ceremony of the 18th China ASEAN Expo. In particular, we can explore how ASEAN and China can collaborate on the Chongqing Connectivity Initiative, New International Land Sea Trade Corridor. By providing a more direct link between Western China and Southeast Asia, the corridor reduces the time and cost for the movement of goods and the provision of services between these fast-growing regions and beyond. Last year, despite COVID-19, we saw a 30% year-on-year increase in trade volume along the corridor. We can further build on this growth momentum. Both China and ASEAN are now each other's largest trading partners, with trade growing in 2020 despite COVID-19. Mr. Heng laid out how both parties can continue working together to broaden their relationship. We should work towards upgrading the ASEAN-China Free Trade Agreement to further reduce non-tariff measures and address new priorities to keep up with the times. Digital collaboration will be a key building block by leveraging on existing platforms such as the ASEAN Smart Cities Network, we can make faster progress.